What's up, everybody? You watching On Air with Nick Java, the Nick Java podcast. I drop content daily here on YouTube. I hope everybody is having a blessed night. And we have a great story here. It looks like Trump has met with Zelensky. He's calling for an end to the war in Ukraine. Maybe he's going to be able to do something that the Biden Harris administration has not been able to do. We need to quit losing lives. So a moment ago, another Fox News alert now, a moment ago in Midtown Manhattan at the Trump Tower, this is the meeting with Ukrainian President Zelensky wow. and the former President Donald Trump. They sat down in front of the cameras, took a few questions, made a few comments. Uh, we've got the videotape, so let's go ahead and cue that up for you and listen. President with us, and he's been through a lot. He's been through a, a tremendous amount, like probably nobody else, almost nobody else in history, if you really get right down to it. And we're going to have a discussion and see what we can come up with. But great honor to have you. With Thanks. Us. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Mr. Brenda. Thanks so much for this meeting. Five, five years plus. Yeah. So we had yes, uh, we had meeting again here in New York. In September, and now there are a lot of challenges, challenges in Ukraine, the United States, and of course I want to to discuss with you. Uh, I think where we are together, I think we have common view that the war in Ukraine has to be stopped and put in calm to win, and Ukrainians have to prevail. And I want to discuss with you the details of our plan, plan of victory. Well, thank you so much. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you have a question for the president? Well, why did you decide to meet? I think it's me. Or both, to both of us. OK, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, it's very important to share to share all the plan, all our steps, how we can strengthen Ukraine. And of course, we have to decide it now. Because after November, we don't know who is. Only Americans decide who will be the president. But we understand that till November, we can't stop Putin. We have to do it. We will try on the battlefield with our heroic soldiers. But we understand that after November, we have to decide. And we hope that the strength of the United States will be very strong and we count on it. That's why I decided to meet with both candidates with all honor. Nice. So, thank you. Mr. President. The Democrat Party we have now is not the Democrat Party of old. Um, the Democrat Party now, you know, stokes fires when it comes to wars. It's crazy because when I grew up, you know, I was on the left when I was in college, which it, it wasn't like it is now. You know, I mean, they were similar, but it won't this this super progressive Um but, you know, they've just gone so far, I don't even recognize it anymore. But Democrats normally were against war. Now they are the party of war, which is which is pretty crazy to me. Um, I hope Kamala Harris meets with Zelensky. And somehow, despite whoever wins the American presidency in 2024, we are able to stop the war between Ukraine and Russia. So. Yeah, Mr. President Trump. Uh, so, what are your expectations about this meeting? So, what do I expect to hear from the President Zelensky? What are your expectations? Say it a little louder. Please. What are your expectations from this meeting? What do you expect to hear from? Uh, Nothing. Uh, look, this is a meeting, and we have a big race going on right now. I guess 37 days left, and we're leading in the polls. And so, we'll see how it all works out. Hopefully, it'll work out. But if it does, we're going to work very much with both parties to try and get this settled and get it worked out. Uh, it has to end at some point. It has to end. He's gone through hell. This country has gone through hell like few countries have ever, uh, like it's happened anywhere. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. It's a terrible situation. It is terrible. And I, I will say I have had a great relationship. It was very honorable. I don't even know if you know this, but when they uh, did the impeachment hoax, it was a hoax, just a Democrat hoax which we won. But one of the reasons we won it so easily is that when the president was asked, it was over a phone call with the president, and he said he could have grandstanded and played cute, but he didn't do that. He said, President Trump did absolutely nothing wrong. 
He said it loud and clear, and the impeachment hoax died right there. He could have said, well, I don't, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> and I, don't, I never even told you this, to be honest. But he was, he was uh, like a piece of steel. He said, President Trump did nothing wrong. We had a very nice call. He congratulated me on his victory. He just won. Uh, and uh, I remember that. I remember that he could have played cute, and he didn't play cute. And so I appreciated that. So we have a very good relationship. And I also have a very good relationship, as you know, with President Putin. And I think uh, if we win, I think we're going to get it resolved very quickly. Very well. I really think we're going to get it I resolved. Know. More good relations. We're going to have a whole lot of Yeah. yeah. But, but, you know, it takes two to tango, you know, and we will, uh, we're going to have a good meeting today. And I think the fact that we're even together today is a very good sign. And it's a good sign. We'll have a good victory because uh, the other side wins. I don't think you're going to have victories with anything, to be honest with you. So we're going to sit down and just discuss it. And uh, if we have a, a win, I think. Long before I, before January 20th, before I would take the presidency, it's January 20th. But long before that, I think that uh, we can work out something that's good for both sides. It's time. And, and by the way, the president knows that too. He wants to get something done. He doesn't want to do this. And uh, so we look forward to having him. I mean, I look forward to being with him. But what I said is true. He was a, he was a piece of steel. He gave a very honest, straight answer, and that it, it really ended, essentially ended the impeachment hoax. And uh, I appreciated that. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Thank you, Trump, 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 Wow. Okay, conversation there with President Zelensky and former President Trump are going to have a meeting here at Trump Tower. And I was just saying to Bill, it was a very complex and delicate mm -hmm. conversation that they were ha Threading having. Threading quite the needle, yeah. right, when you consider the history between the two men together. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going through hell. It needs to end. The war needs to end. It's time. Those comments from and, former, uh, president. President, former President Trump also said if he were to win the election, that before January 20th, when he would take office, that they could get this resolved. He also said that um, that Zelensky doesn't want to do this anymore, presumably mean fight. I don't mm -hmm. know if that's exactly how Zelensky feels about this. And you think about our audience is listening to this from our perspective. The audience in Ukraine is listening as well, but so is Vladimir Putin. Right. So that, um, that meeting happens right now. We'll bring you more updates uh, if we get them. Uh, but a critical meeting, when you think about it, he met with Kamala Harris yesterday and Joe Biden yesterday. Made Good. The Pennsylvania a few days Good. ago. And House Republicans are really hot about that. Mm -hmm. Thinking it was some sort of muddling right now are meddling, I should say. In, hey, man, they got to get that war torn uh, in, in, man. In the election, which uh, the president points out 30 some odd days away. So, you know, I, I think it's great. I, I think it's great Zelensky met with Kamala Harris as well. I didn't know that before I watched this actual uh, news bit here. I'm, you know, I, that the, the war needs to end, man. I don't know if the Democrat Party is going to help him end this actual war, considering it started under Joe Biden. And nothing. I mean, they've been going the whole freaking time. You know, I, I just I just don't know, man. I don't know. I'm I'm hoping for the sake of all Ukrainians and also for the sake of, you know, Russian soldiers. I'm hoping they can get this X, man, and and you know, we can actually get some peace over there, you know, between those two countries, between Putin and Zelensky. What do you guys think, man? You know, I, I've got, I know some people through one of my friends and um, they actually have, it's very, it's very difficult out there right now for Ukrainians. And, you know, my prayers are with all of them. You guys have a blessed night. Take care. You watch it on there with Nick Job, Nick Job, a podcast. We definitely need to get an end to this Ukrainian war with Russia so that all these lives quit get taken. You guys have a great day.